What's up YouTube, this is Madcock83 and today I'm going to show you how to install mine and Omega Skull's map, The Great Four. Um, please visit the website, ah, please visit the website and you'll find important information there, but most important, a link to all the downloads. Uh, simply do as I have done here, create a jar folder and a mods folder. And everything on this list on the left side that says jar mods, download and save into that. Into its respective folder. All the jar mods save into the jar folder. All the mods folder mods save into the mods folder. Uh, I'm not going to do it because it'll take a while for me to go through all the downloads, but these download links are the ones provided by the mod authors, not by me or anyone else. Uh, and the map and the map and the configs will appear right here. I haven't released it yet. So the download for the maps is still empty. It pops up every time, sorry. Uh, but it will be here. Once you have done all the downloading, open up your .minecraft folder and start with a clean Minecraft, .minecraft folder, meaning that there are no other mods installed. Uh, if you'd like, make a backup of your old one and install this one. This, one will, this install is for 1.23. It will be updated to 1.25 in the future, but for right now, this is for beta testing purposes. We're going to go ahead and release it for 1.23. Um, go ahead and start with your bin. Open that up with WinRAR or WinZip or whatever you like to use. And delete the meta inf as always, first and foremost, or you will have problems and stuff will not work. Go ahead and open up that folder. It has all the mods we need to install, and we need to do these in a specific order, so go ahead and open up Mod Loader first. Grab all that stuff and drop it in there. Close out. And go to Mod Loader MP. And like I said, all the links for all these mods will be provided on our website. Drop it on there. Next, we're going to do Audio Mod. And remember to follow the order I'm doing these in, or you will get crashes. Close that out. Now we're going to add Minecraft Forge. Make sure you get the client version. Edit all that stuff. And dr 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 drop it in now. And not enough items client. Highlight and drop. Now you can close out your bin because we are done with that. Go ahead and run Minecraft once. You will get a crash because we have installed not enough items but not code chicken core yet, which is needed for any I to run. Log in, make sure you don't update to 1.25. And once you get to the crash screen here, simply you can look down and see that it says go chicken core. It's pretty much missing, so to close that out. But it did give us all the other folders we're going to need. So now you can close out the jar folder, open up your mods folder with all the stuff you got. Go ahead and open up your mods folder in your .minecraft. Highlight everything except equivalent exchange and drag all that good stuff in there and just drop it in. Now, go back to uh, the equivalent exchange, open it up, and you'll have two things that need to be installed here. I'll grab the zip folder for equivalent exchange, drop it in there. Head back over to .minecraft, go to the .minecraft folder, and there's resources, so we're going to just drop that one on top. It'll ask you to merge, say yes. And now all your mods are installed. Now we need to install the configs for the map and the, the actual map itself. Uh, this will be the TGR map download that you'll get off the website. And it will come with an installer. Read the readme text if you need to know how to work it. But click on the mod tools version 2.3. Click install mods. And you're going to direct it back to that folder that, or the the RAR that should be on our desktop. Oh. Very important. No, I forgot this. 
uh, when you open it. So I'll show you really quick again. Grab that folder, the TGR map version 1.0, drop that on your desktop. It just makes the it's just for the mod tool to help it find what it needs. I forgot to do that. Very important. Click on that mods tool again. Click install mods, and now you should have the folder on your desktop. Uh, if I can find it, TGR map version 1.0, and just direct it to that zip folder. Just click that. It'll ask you to back up. Just go ahead and say no, and it will start installing the mod. Or not the mod. The uh, the configs and the actual save for it. As you can see over there, we got some new folders that popped up. And once this is done, it's done. Close out all this good stuff, and now let's jump over to Minecraft and see what we got. Alright, boys and girls, if you see the Minecraft screen, you have made it without crashes and you did everything right. Make sure you do not update. Again, this is for 1.23 for right now. Uh, so you guys can test it out for us and tell us what's wrong with it, if it sucks, if it's good, if you love it, if you hate it, and we can make changes when 1.25 comes out. But what you should have when you go to single player is now you'll have the map already installed. Kind of click on it like so. And there we go. The map is officially installed. I'm ooh, look at that. The version will be updated where you can't use the cheap part of this unless you really want to, and you gotta learn how on your own. I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, just to save a little on the lag. See, we can drop in. We're not so much, and we can get started. But now all the mods have been installed, everything is good to go, and you are ready to play. Please let us know what you think about it, and have a good day.